in the defensive lineman's hands. We're trying to pressure him. There we do. We strip him, and it looks like we're going to pick that fumble up. Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we're back on the Madden 18 Draft Champions today. I'm hoping we can get a pretty high overall squad. Now, the highest I have gotten is 90. I have not seen anybody. I think I saw actually one or two people get a 91. I don't know, though. I don't even know if you can get a 91. I'm hoping we're able to get one, though. We've gotten some pretty, we got really, actually really good offensive linemen for these first two rounds. We got a 98, 96. Here, we're getting a 97 overall. So, right now, we're getting a very good team. And then here, we're going to get a 96 overall Eric Weddle. So, we've had all 95s for these first, you know, five. Five, five rounds. So there we get Shaq Thompson, we get him, we get a replays version of him. So I'm hoping the team can look pretty good, you know. I'm just hoping that the team works out pretty well. Now here we get our lower round. I mean, it's like whatever. We'll take Devin McCourty, we'll get him at free safety. Hopefully he'll be able to lock up over there. Now here we're going to pick up Alejandro Villanueva. Probably, I'm pretty sure I actually know. We're not going to go with him because we already have a left tackle. We're going to get Logan right there. We're going to pick him up. Um, now here, I can go with really any of these cards. I wouldn't go for David though. I don't know, back Atari. I don't know whatever his last name is because I already have a left tackle. We'll pick up a right guard. So now the team's looking pretty good here. We're going to pick up, you know, we'll get Rashad uh, Brenlin right there. We'll get him on the squad. Now here, any of these cards, I can go with this Mershon Lattimore I've used before. I haven't used Ronald Darby, so I'm like, let's just go with Darby just because I haven't used him before. Um, It's one of those cards where I really haven't used much as of lately at all. I don't think I've used him, so I'm like, let's just try him out, see how he does. Now here, I can go with any of these cards. I just decided to go with Marvin Jones over that Juju. That Juju card's been here for a while. It's been here for like the last six months. It's been here since like December. But guys, while I'm doing this, I'm just saying I'm getting so hyped for Madden 18. I actually, the game comes out in two weeks from today. Or no, wait, today's Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. So the game comes comes out in less than like two weeks. I'm getting very, very excited. I still haven't pre-ordered my copy. I still got to pre-order my copy for the game. And I'm just going to get really, really excited. I'm starting to get hyped for Madden 18 too. Be, or Madden 19. Because once that game drops, I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more videos. Um, we'll try to, I'll probably actually double upload because I have summer for a little bit longer than I started school again. But I will have it for a while, and I should be able to, you know, crank out a lot of videos for you guys. We'll get some draft champs, probably some ultimate team, probably try to keep it a really Madden based. And also, while I'm talking about this real quick, while I'm waiting for just the drafts to go by, um, right, actually our offensive line's looking very good right now, and here we're gonna pick up Muhammad Wilkerson. Now that card just looks sick. But I'm also planning on, I'm definitely gonna play 2K this year. I just don't know if I'm gonna post 2K. Um, I might stream 2K or something once the inter our internet should be better by September. I'm hoping by the beginning of September. I'm almost 100% sure I'll be able to definitely I should be able to actually use my computer and stuff So we should be okay with that everything I'm just exceeding excited because I can finally use some of my stuff that I bought and also I don't know why Christian Okoye would even be in this um, I don't really know who's gonna pick him his card is pretty much it's a it's less like his fullback But no one's gonna use him as a fullback everyone would use him as a halfback because he would just be a, an insane trucking back and now here I just decided to go with Luke Keekley because this card is ridiculous it has like 599 overall stat so does the Deion Sanders and probably the Travis Kelsey but I'm like this Luke Heakley has 99 hit power his speed is a 92 which is his like lowest stat on the whole card so I'm like let's just pick him up here's a squad though the offensive line was almost complete except for a right tackle and there was no duplicates for the offensive line which is really surprised I got three good receivers defense is okay defensive line is decent but there is my top three you know we got Troy Vincent Travis Frederick Luke Keekley he also does have Luke Keekley Ed Reed so his defense is going to be pretty good. He has a very good center, too. So we're starting here off on defense. It's third and 12 for him. He's driving back the pass, seeing what he's trying to do there. He tries to find an open man, and we pick it off. We try Vincent. That's what we need. And we're getting some good blocks. We kind of ran backwards, but we do break a tackle. We spin off a tackle, and it doesn't look like anyone's going to catch Troy Vincent. He's running there, running like Deion Sanders, holding the ball, and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And that's what always scares me, though, when you're running back with um, you know defensive backs, how they hold the ball. If they get hit hard, they're dropping that ball right away. There's no chance that they're not. But I notice sometimes they do cover up right before they're going to get hit, which is nice. But anyways, he's trying to dot me up, and he does. Like, I was like, I thought that was a catch. I thought Culpepper threw that, and I thought that was a catch. I didn't think that was, I was like, I'm fine with it, but I thought it was a catch. So, I kind of got saved there. I thought I thought it looked like he had his two feet down, but I don't know. Anyways, it's 3rd and 11. We're over here, and then we do find uh, Marvin Jones on the middle of the field, rocking the Lions Uni just like he does in real life, and he does make a catch. So it is first and ten. We're running some no huddles, seeing what we're able to do here. If we can continue to make some good throws and just, you know, extend our lead, we should be fine. So we're dropping back here, and there I completely force a ball. Like, that was a crazy animation. He got completely flipped in midair, and they picked the tip ball off. That happens a lot. Um, those are kind of annoying, but, I mean, they're more realistic. But I've noticed tip balls happen a lot. 
Like, balls usually never fall to the ground. They're always usually tipped, and he just runs it in here. But as I'm saying about that, like, balls usually are tipped. They never fall to the ground in the game, at least. Like, they never just, you know, there's usually not many drops. There are more balls that end up being way, like, hot, somehow insanely tipped. Now, there we throw a pick. I was like, oh, crap. Now, somehow, I completely miss him. He breaks a tackle, Kenny Vaccaro, and it looks like he's going to just take that all the way back. Now, he's just going to mess with me over here, run this way, stand over here, just do just do this crap just to mess with me, and he gets into the end zone for six points there. And he did go for two, so we're back here with Troy Vincent. See what we're able to do. Hopefully, he can give us a spark just like he did earlier, and Troy Vincent is going to take this all the way to the house, it looks like. Just do not step out of bounds. Don't get caught. And Troy Vincent has our two touchdowns already, so he's our leading scorer and he's our cornerback, so I'm okay with it. We're going to go for two here to tie this game up at 15. I'm going to see if I can give it to LaShawn McCoy, and he can punch it into the end zone for us. But this game is starting to seem like it is going to be one of the most intense games I have played. It's been very high scoring, and it's been very, just, it's been crazy. So anyways, he's back here. We're back here on defense. He's running around in the backfield. He just throws a bomb to Demarius Thomas. There's no way he's catching that. Somehow he drags his feet and catches that. We didn't, like, I don't know why my defensive backs did not play the ball. They didn't even try to swat it. I'm like, he got that animation so clear. It was an awesome catch, though, definitely. But anyways, we're back here. We're getting sacked, and I'm like, I, I tried to throw the ball, but somehow he picks that off. It was ruled as an interception, so Russell Wilson was falling backwards and threw it into the guy's hands. Threw it into the defensive lineman's hands. We're trying to pressure him. There we do. We strip him, and it looks like we're going to pick that fumble up. Logan's going to pick it up. Dude, run. Let's go. But now, for some reason here, we missed that guy, but for some reason, I tried to truck. If we didn't truck, we would have got that for six. Like, he's going to tackle us by our ankles there. We're on the 20-yard line. If we can't punch it in, I'm going to be mad because that should have been six points. That should have been a you know fumble for six. But we're driving back the pass. We're going to see our tight end right there. We're going to find Kyle Rudolph into the end zone for the touchdown there. So I'm just happy we were able to convert there. Then hopefully we can tie this game up at 22 or 22. But here, of course, I miss my PAT. Like, look at this. It hits the crossbar. It hits the crossbar. How much closer can I get? I don't know. But I'm just upset that I, you know, didn't make that. I didn't make the kick, and now we're down by one point. So he's about to score here. I'm like, okay. There's about two and a half minutes left. We gotta clamp up. We need to stop him here. Either he scores. We gotta make sure he doesn't get this two points because he's up by seven right now. So if he goes for one, they make it an eight point game. If he goes for two and makes it the game's pretty much over because that's nine points so here he's gonna go for two which is probably the smartest deal anyways that's what i would do you know then you secure the w you secure the game here if he makes this so it's all up to this the defense we need you to clamp up here he's running over here and he tries to give it to his guy in the backfield and we do wrap him up with three defenders so we still do have a chance we're down by seven points can we have a clutch two minute drive come back and score real quick before the half ends or before the game ends we're over here with russell wilson and we do make a great play we get out of bounds thankfully he hangs onto the ball. We do not have to worry about him getting strip fumble. But anyways, it's 3-26. I'm like, what is this? But thankfully, I sent the guy over there, I don't even know who it was, on a drag. And, you know, he does catch it. Thankfully, you know, it was just, I'm like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we got the first down. If we didn't get that, we would have been screwed. So this first and down, we're going to set up this screen to LaShawn McCoy. See what we're able to do. We're going to get some blockers up front. We got one guy to miss. We make him miss. And then this guy is going to catch us down around the 19-yard line, 20-yard line. So we're running some no huddle. It is second and 17. I want to see what we can do. Maybe these C routes can help us out. We're going to run over here with Russell Wilson. We're going to run this way, see what we can do. I'm hoping if I stand here, this guy comes forward. And he does. And we throw a dot right there to Marvin Jones. Now, somehow he didn't fall down. He, like, slid, caught the ball, got up, and got an extra, like, two yards, which is great. So we're on the five-yard line. I want to see if we can score here. We're running this stick play or whatever. I'm going to run this way. I could have hit R1 there, but we just run in with Russell Wilson, and we do score right there. So now it's all through this PAT. We get this, get this PAT. The game is tied up 28-28, and thankfully, we do make it. So we're going to go into overtime, hopefully, as long as we can stop him. Maybe we can get the ball. I have a chance to score. Now, this game, we are getting the ball back at halftime or at um, overtime. We ended up winning the tip. I'm obviously going to pick to receive. We're back here with Troy Vincent. We need another great return. And it looks like we might get it, but he, we did get tackled. I was like, if that guy wasn't there, we would have broke that. So it is third and 21. I got to see if we can convert this here. That's all I need. I'm like, I, if a field goal, then he at least gets a chance. But I want to score a touchdown here. There. he won. I should have hit the guy down. I should have hit square. But I just threw a pick. I'm like, okay. Just make sure I can try to get him out of the end zone, and then it's similar to a punt, and we do get him down around the five-yard line, so that is similar to a punt. But I should have hit X. He was wide open. That would have been a first down, and we could have possibly kicked the field goal. But he's got 31 seconds. He's running some play action. here. He's rolling out here with Cole Pepper. I'm like, oh, crap. He has a wide open field. He could have thrown that ball, too. Either way. But he did fumble. He got out of bounds at the 20-yard line, so I'm like, if he get, he, he's just going to kneel the ball. 
he's going to try to kick this field goal. If he gets his field goal, the game's over. So I'm like, I got to make sure he misses. He's just going to drain the clock. I'm like, let's at least ice him. Let's, that's the only thing I can do. 25-yard field goal, 28-yard field goal. I can just hope he ices and misses it. That's all I can do. And we tried to ice him, and he did make it. He got it right down the middle, guys. So we ended up losing that game. That was a very, very close game. I was disappointed I lost, but that was one of the better games I've played lately. It was very close. Went into overtime. We ended up losing. I'm kind of upset we lost by three points. But anyways, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this Madden 18 Draft Champs video, guys. I'm very, very excited for Madden 19. Tell me if you guys are, but if you look at this, like, he completely dominated me in every single category. Like, offensive-wise, he killed me. Like, I only had, I had less than 100 yards passing. But anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and peace out, guys. Thanks.